What causes currencies to rise and fall? Well, the best way to explain all of this is if we go back in time to before the 2008 Olympics in Beijing, which was an amazing Olympics. So we're back in time now. And the year is 2006. And I actually met back then with the CFO of United Technologies, which owned the Otis Elevator brand back then. They spun it off a couple of years ago. And he told me that based on their research and their order book, he told me that in the next five years, China was gonna build more buildings than the cumulative total of all buildings ever built in every country since the beginning of time. He also told me that every single year, the Chinese government builds the equivalent electricity grid infrastructure of the United Kingdom. Staggering statistics, eh? So the year is 2006 right now. And let's pretend I'm the Chinese government. Now, if I want to build all this stuff to show the world how modern China is in 2008 uh, at the Beijing Olympics, then what I have to do is I have to buy a lot of natural resources like oil, copper, aluminum, iron ore, and, and many other raw materials. Now, three countries that I want to buy those aforementioned natural resources from are Australia, Canada, and Brazil as those three countries are very natural resources rich. So as the Chinese government, if I wanna buy natural resources from those three countries, then what I have to do first is I have to exchange my currency, which is the renminbi. I have to exchange my renminbi and buy Canadian dollars or Australian dollars or Brazilian dollars, Brazilian real. And I have to buy those three aforementioned currencies because then I can use their currency to buy natural resources from companies in Brazil, Australia, and Canada. Okay, and so I'm buying a lot of commodities, so I need to buy a lot of those three currencies, which drives up the value of those currencies a lot. Now, moving on to another subtopic here with currencies, but another thing that makes currencies go up and down is when a country makes their interest rates go up or down by changing the supply of their money. And so if countries decrease the supply of their money, then the prices of that currency increases, meaning interest rates increase and investors want to invest in that currency if it has a higher interest rate than other currencies. But here's the catch. It has to be a stable economy because when we see interest rates that are way too high for some bonds or currencies or, or dividends, if the dividend yield is way too high uh, on a stock, then there's usually a reason. The reason is that that company or country could go bankrupt. So we always have to question why rates are high in a certain country. Another reason why some currencies outperform others is scary global economic environments. Okay, so for example, if there's a, a global crisis of confidence and investors want to invest in a safer currency, um, which is why in 2008, the US dollar outperformed. Uh, and the same thing happens with gold uh, as a commodity, a little side note. When people are freaking out about the global economy, usually the price of gold goes up a lot. And so my favorite go-to investment when the world's falling apart is usually gold. I buy GLD, which is the ETF for it. And last thing I'll say about currencies is, of course, it's all relative to each other. 